Good day, New Jersey. I'm Amanda Luskin. And I'm Bobby Wolf, and welcome to this special report concerning safe driving. Did you know that car crashes are the number one cause of brain injury and death in teens? Secaucus High School student Fada Muhammad and brother Rahid shared their story on how their everyday lives are affected due to drunk driving. Being in eighth grade at the time, I woke up to screaming and people yelling, we have to go to the hospital at about three in the morning, and I didn't know what was happening. When I got to the hospital, I saw my entire family there and they were just a wreck. Um, we heard that my father was in the intensive care unit and he was in critical condition along with his friend. When we saw him, he was, he was, in, a, he was in a coma. They put him in a medically induced coma and that was because his lungs collapsed and his, um, his heart was having trouble along with his friend. His friend Charlie, he also, had, uh, he also had lung and heart problems from the impact of the collision. The pickup truck was driving on the opposite side of the highway going approximately 80 miles per hour. My father tried swerving away and they got into a head-on collision. The police report told us that um, the man who was driving the car along with, his, uh, along with his buddy who was in the passenger seat, they were both approximately 10 times over the alcohol limit. My father and Charlie ended up being in the hospital for a good amount of time. I would say, I would say between a, a little bit over a year. He's always going to remember that time in his life, the time right now in his life as well, as being the worst time of his life. I don't think he's ever going to forget how he feels right now because it's just mentally m impacted him just tremendously. It's, it's just not easy to see your father like that, you know, growing up. Growing up, you see your father as a role model. You see your father as somebody who, you know, is always strong, who's always positive, who's always encouraging. And then just to see him in that state, see him in that weak state that he was in, um, really puts everything in perspective. Everyone says that to themselves, that this can't happen to me or it'll never happen to me, but then it happens to you. But we have to do a better job at making sure that things like this just don't happen anymore. Today, their father is still struggling to walk and is battling with depression. Tragically, the passenger in the car will never walk again. Car crashes are truly a harsh reality. They can happen anytime, any place, and to anyone. Sharing his story is current Secaucus High School teacher Alex Kuchar. Mr. Kuchar once dreamed of being a professional basketball player, but his life was suddenly altered after a collision with a driver under the influence. Here is his story. My life changed forever in June 2008 because of an unsafe driving accident. There was this loud bang and everything just kind of went dark. The drivers were under influence of marijuana and alcohol and continued to accelerate. They didn't even attempt to stop. They didn't even know that the four cars in front of them had come to a stop. It felt like someone had taken a searing hot piece of metal and just held it on my spine. And at that point I thought, God, I'm paralyzed. Couldn't walk, couldn't move, just, just felt just overall terrible. It was pain that I'd never felt before. And it was all because four guys driving home from work decided they wanted to smoke marijuana, have a couple beers, and they were completely unaware. It didn't matter whether it was a lot or a little bit. That little bit was able to affect my entire life. My back was broken. My spirit was broken. Everything was different for me, and I never really recovered. The driver was under the influence, but the three gentlemen in the, in the passenger seats, they could have stopped him. And their action, their selfish action, it changed the entire course of my life. My opportunity was lost because of an unsafe driver. My life is never the same. Secaucus High School is making a difference. Parents and students were asked to sign a written agreement stating that they will avoid all distractions while driving and attempt to be as safe as possible behind the wheel. Our team also spoke to police officer Sergio Castillo, who informed us about the dangers of drunk driving, the penalties that come with it, and how to be aware of a person who is under the influence. Hello, my name is police officer Sergio Castillo. I've been a police officer for 17 years in the patrol division. In those 17 years, I've had contact or involvement with over 100 drunk driving incidences. Uh, the majority were observed observation, where we're just driving around and we observe the car and pull it over and make the arrest, but others are uh, discovered through motor vehicle accidents. Unfortunately, those result in injury and sometimes death. Another incident involving accidents is distracted drivers, where they're either texting or talking on the phone. A lot of them have uh, resulted in, in death and serious injury. 
be aware of what's out there. Be aware of how to recognize a drunk driver. Uh, they will be driving slowly. They will be uh, stepping on their brake a lot. They'll be driving in the middle of the lane, sometimes driving with their lights off. If you see something like that, stay away from it and call the police. Oh, but we didn't stop there. To get Seacockers to be more aware behind the wheel, we held a safe driving slogan contest. The top 10 slogans were picked and are being displayed on different signs throughout our town to remind anyone who is driving through town to stay safe and ignore any distractions. Out of these top 10, three were chosen and received prizes of $100, $50, and $25. The winning slogan was, I would hate to meet you by accident, drive safely, and was written by Seahawkins Jr. Chris Perez. In April, Drive Safer is hosting a driving course in the MetLife Stadium parking lot where drivers can learn how to have complete control over their vehicle while being in a controlled environment. We had the opportunity to have the Chief Executive, Jason Friedman, speak to our students about these courses and how to remain calm through adversity on the road. The number one killer of teens in the United States between the ages of 15 and 19 years of age is motor vehicle crashes. We are looking to leave a lasting mark on our school regarding safe driving. To help accomplish this, with the money from You Got Brains, we were able to purchase an LED sign that will go at the exit of our school campus to remind the students, parents, and anyone else driving through to drive safe. Everyone can also be reminded by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter at SHS Media Academy. For the Secaucus High School Media Academy, I'm Amanda Luskin. And I'm Bobby Wolf. And please remember to drive safe, New Jersey.